Hey everyone, it's Julie Younger with the XP Realty. It's time for the Portland Metro Market Stats, where I go over three areas on the east, three areas on the west. We compare the actives, the news, the pendings, and the solds to the previous week to see how it fares. Well, it is summertime. Summertime and some summertime results, I think, are in. So let's get to it. Over in Lake Oswego and West Lynn, we have the actives at 200, which is up by four. We have the news at 38, which is up by two. The pending's 32, which is down by six. And the solds are 14, down by 16. The Gladstone, Milwaukee, and Happy Valley area, we have the actives at 363, down by seven. The news are 66, which are exactly the same as the previous week. And the pendings are 67, down by 17. Solds 46, down by 14. Now over in Oregon City, Canby, and Malala, we have the actives at 259, which is up by one. The news 44, up by one. Pendings 32, ah, up by one. And the solds 30, which is down by 13. Over on the west side. We're looking at Beaverton and Aloha. We have the actives at 310, which is up by seven. The news are 67 up by one. The pendings are 69 up by 12. The solds are 37 down by 13. Tualatin, Sherwood, and Wilsonville, we have the actives at 300, which is up by seven. The news are 77, which is up by 20. The pendings are 57, which is down by six, and the solds 54, which is up by two. Finally, we have Hillsboro and Forest Grove. The actives are at 314, which is up by six. The news are 57, which is up by five. The pendings are 47, and down by eight, and the solds 38, which is up by two. So. As I compile this information and I know what's going on, you know, think about what I've been dealing with out in the market, it looks like there's kind of, there's activity, obviously, but it's not the rush of activity. It's not the have to buy now kind of activity. Still a lot of price reductions happening, time on market. As you can see, all of these areas, except for really one, uh, which is Beaverton Aloha, all the pendings are down, meaning people aren't making offers. And the news are most all active on the market. So it tells me that things are coming up, more listings and more listings, which we need more listings. We need more choices out there. When we get more choices, we get better pricing on things. In other words, supply and demand, if there's less inventory, that produces overpricing or overbidding, overpaying. But when we have more inventory and more choices, people actually get to maybe think about what they wanna buy instead of just rush, 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 I'm gonna you know, throw the baby in with the bathwater and you know, hope for the best. No, we need to be making educated decisions about these huge purchases that we're doing out in the market. People are offering and keeping a 10-day home inspection so they can thoroughly go through and actually do the right reports. You're doing a sewer scope. You're doing a radon test. You're not just rushed into making a decision and throwing away things that really do protect you. So I'm licensed in Oregon, Washington, and Arizona. Uh, if you're thinking about buying or selling or you know somebody that is, I'd be happy to help. I hope you all have an amazing day. <music>